Hi everyone, it's Christoph Chu with Coldwell Banker Global Luxury in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. Today I'm in the Hollywood Hills Sunset Strip area of Los Angeles and taking you on a little driving tour of an area called, or a street called Rising Glen Road. Um, and I'll share the insights about this little neighborhood. So let's take a look around. So Rising Glen Road is here straddled between the Hollywood Hills and the Prime Bird Streets. And it's right off of a street called Sunset Plaza Drive. Uh, Rising Glen Road here is essentially uh, a dead-end street. And for example, this house, uh, I sold this house. My clients purchased the property about three years ago for about two million, which was a great deal at the time. Uh, it was then torn down and that new house was built and it sold for uh, just under seven million. So in the market today, or in the last couple years, the highest prices on the street have been hovering around 15 to 18 million. Uh, there have been a couple recently in the 9 million, 11 million, and 14 million range. Uh, there are some good deals right now in the market, and particularly in this location. Uh, you can actually get a house here right now. I think the lowest price house currently, um, actually it's 5.9 million, but occasionally you can get something for around 3 million. Um, a lot of celebrities do like this street. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It does have beautiful views. And it, we're going to go all the way to the top so you get a little better perspective of the area. And for example, just to the left here is the beginning of the popular Bird Street section of the Hollywood Hills Sunset Strip. And then kind of where we are and to the right, this is called the Sunset Plaza area. So again, if you're lucky enough to find a home here on Rising Land for three, three and a half million, uh, you can tear it down, build new, and have a house that's worth, depending on the lot, of course, upwards of, you know, six and a half to potentially 10 million or more, again, if you have a, a larger lot. So this is Thrasher on the left, which is taking me into, the, will take you into the Bird Streets uh, afterwards. So as you can see, there's a lot of construction going on because it's such a hot neighborhood and the values are so strong. Uh, people will buy these homes and tear them down and build. I would say that there are a few, not many, but a few homes that were built in the 1920s and 1940s. I would say a majority of the homes here were built around the mid-century time, 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s. So a lot of that older, uh, outdated architecture is being torn down to build more of the new look that buyers want today, which is the contemporary uh, glass box style home. So, you know, one of the things about the hills that you have to understand is all parts of the hills, whether you're in, in the Hollywood Hills like we are now, or Beverly Hills Post Office, Beverly Hills Proper in the Hills, or Bel Air, or Brentwood, these are canyons uh, and hillsides. So sometimes when you have construction trucks like I'm following, or a big party, there can be some blockages on the road. So it's not for everyone, so you just have to be understanding of this particular area and community if you want to have a hillside property in these areas with views, you will have to have a payoff of sometimes having to wait for cars and traffic. And particularly, I know of certain situations where there've been, you know, a thousand guests at a party and you can't even get to your house because the roads are blocked with all the cars. So it's just, you know, one of the facts about buying in this area. So as we go up the top of Rising Glen, uh, this house is on the market. Um, I forget what the list price is. I'm going to see it. I saw it a while ago, but it's come on the market. I think it's uh, six million, six and a half million, somewhere in that range. Uh, this is a beautiful modern house there on the right that was built a couple years ago. And uh, as we're coming up here on the left is a modern home that was sold, oh gosh, maybe nine, ten months ago for over 14 million. It's the one there with the glass gate and uh, yeah, right over there on the left. And we're almost at the end of uh, Rising Glen. And um, it's just a beautiful little street. It's quiet because really, unless you live up here, you're not gonna be coming up here because you're dead end. So um, when there's no parties and there's no construction, then you have no issues um, <laughs> with traffic. But today we had to follow the hauling and demolition truck. that's obviously doing work uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, this house here, uh, up the driveway, I don't know if you can see it right there. That one sold for 14.4 million, uh, also about a year ago. So the higher up you are here on Rising Glen, a little bit pricier, 
some of the lots are a little bit larger and you do have amazing views of the city. Again, depending on where it's positioned, some are full views of the city. Uh, it's not a promontory view because we're kind of inside up the canyon versus up the hill up there. If you've got a promontory property, meaning you're at the end of the mountain on the edge, then you have a much more sweeping view of the hillside or of the whole city that is. So just a little insight into buying hillside properties. Uh, the better the view, the higher the price. And we've seen some really, really amazing homes with views. A great view can add 50% to the value of the house. So if you have a $5 million house across the street, if that house is on the other side and has really an exceptional view, you can add $5 million to your value. So anyways, uh, I'm done with my little driving tour today. Hope you enjoyed this little short one on Rising Glen. Have a great day and we'll see you later.